What's up guys? It's the girl Pusha Lace and I haven't talked to you in a while and I want to talk to you all real quick. This video that Nikita Dragon did, this um, her, song, her first music video that she dropped and dropping names and dropping pictures and videos just to sell some fucking record, just to sell a fucking song. Two of, um, two person that I dated briefly text me. What the chance both of them text me basically at the same time? Just saying hi and seeing how I'm doing. I know that something is up, something is up. They both message me and to say hi. It's because of Nikita's song. It is because of Nikita's song. But I'm not that kind of girl. And let me tell you something. What Nikita Dragon did and doing is wrong. It is wrong. You see, she had the protection of Beverly Hills and her bodyguard and the paparazzi following her everywhere she goes. But we who live in New York here and live in Brooklyn, it is still dangerous. You can still walk in Soho and somebody attack you from the back. Nowhere is safe, exactly. But she have her paparazzi and have her fans that always follow her around so she can do those stupid shit. But let me tell you something, girls. This is not okay. This is not okay. You see, if you feel the need to out someone, it's because you're a homosexual man. So Nikita Dragon, you're a homosexual man. You are a gay man. Because if you're a woman, there is no need to out someone because someone is, is dating a girl. And I understand that in your little small little Asian man, you're probably thinking that you're probably thinking that um, you're normalizing dating trans women. That is not normalizing trans women dating. That is setting us backward. Because in, for the girls who are in the hood, the black girls that are getting killed, it's because um, they slept with a black man and the black man doesn't want anyone to know that they sleep with that girl. So they kill the girl instead. So the girl, basically the, key, the secret kept when they kill the girl. So for you to be doing this shit, it is not okay. It is not okay. You cannot ride someone out and speak that someone you slept with. Yes, you want to be walking and holding hands with someone and do all of that shit. Yes, I, yeah, do that. But when someone is a celebrity as well, the rules are different. The rules are different. The rules does not apply when you've been with someone who is famous. Because now you're messing with their livelihood, their money, and everybody is going to get involved. The paparazzi, all the world is going to get involved and comment on that. So the rules does not apply. And you do have to protect people like that who wanted to date a girl like us, but is scared because of shit like this it's scary first of all let's talk about riding someone out i can understand if you want to ride one person out because you're looking to be famous and you want to come up just a little bit i can understand just a little tiny little tiny bit but to be riding everyone out that you slept with and been with and who is in your dm that is some bullshit that is some bullshit because that is some bullshit that that shit will get you capped that shit will get you cap and nobody should complain when they cap your fucking ass because that is some bullshit you don't talk about who's in your dm and who's hitting you up because you're not normalized being trans and trans people dating you're not normalizing it you're setting us back because if if, if you're if you're saying someone is in a dm or this person is in a dm dm Basically, you're, you, you, it's basically like a surprise that this person is actually hitting on a trans woman so for a person but to be surprised and for you you're a woman and you date men there's nothing to be surprised about but because you're a homosexual man you have that gay mentality in your head that's the problem so honey that homosexualness that inside your girl get it out and stop this shit because you're making it bad for the girls who in brooklyn and who is in the hood i'm not in the hood but for the girls who are in the hood that are dating these um, urban guy and with these urban guy, they're now going to worry that they're going to spill their tea and spill their secret. And that is not fucking okay. That is not okay, bitch. Look at my eyes. That is not okay. So, you up in your little Beverly Hills and Cho, you look a shade and Cho, and you fucking look a shade. But it's we and the people who don't hear that doesn't have the paparazzi following us around have to deal with your fucking consequences. So bitch, stop that bullshit now. And for those of you girls who think this is okay and want to follow in her footsteps, 
six feet under for you. So don't be trying that bullshit and riding someone out and, and all of this shit. Because you don't need to ride someone out because you're a woman dating a man. There's nothing more to that story. You're a woman dating a man. But if you have that faggot mentality and that homosexual mind to ride somebody out, it means that you're a homosexual man. You're a man. You're a gay man. So stop that shit. You know, that, that is my opinion on it. And this shit is serious. And this is not okay. Not okay. That is my thoughts on that. I dated two famous person briefly and they're hitting me up to make sure I won't, I won't become this person or, or write them out. I dated two famous person briefly. A rapper and an actor. And they're big. They're big in Hollywood. They're big. Big. And I would never ever do something like that. Never ever ever do something like that. So, because I'm not a homosexual man. I don't need to write someone up because I'm a girl. 